Day 21 will be mainly a driving day as we go to Capitol Reef. We try to go in from the north, but the snow stops us in the high passes, so we have to go around the south through the grand staircase of the Escalante, and then we return to Panquish for the night. Let's get started as we head out of Salt Lake City. As we head south, we can see that the mountains are covered with clouds and it's snowing up there. Soon we get into the rain and then it'll turn to snow. We'll be in, in and out of rain and snow all day as we change elevations. As we get higher in elevation, the snow starts to accumulate somewhat on the road and turns slushy, but we can still drive. The higher and higher we go, the snow gets heavier and heavier and the slush on the road gets heavier also and gets thicker. It'll eventually get to the point where we have to turn around and go back as we start sliding backwards down the hill. We tried to get to Capitol Reef along Highway 24 but got stopped just before we got there so we'll go around and come in from the south on Highway 12. As we get to Marysville, you can see that the rain has stopped here and hasn't been snowing at all or even wet roads, but as we look up ahead, we can see in the clouds that there's going to be some more snow and rain. We've now moved around to the south and are going to be taking scenic bypass 12 and it'll be beautiful along the way. Scenic bypass 12 is the red road here and it'll go through several different beautiful areas as we head toward Capitol Reef. First up is Dixie National Forest in the Red Canyon Visitors Area. The red sandstone and the white snow and the green trees seem to just play on colors.
As we continue to increase in elevation, it starts to snow again. And then as we head into the valleys, it's snowing a little bit, but basically not sticking because it's so much hotter here. And then it clears out. In the 20s and 30s, tens of thousands of sheep were grazed through this area, and this was where they were collected to shear at what was called Promise Rock. The various colors in this area come from the various layers of rock that were laid down, as you can see here in this formation. The bottom part contains actually bentonite coal, which was mined for heating purposes. The summit in this area is relatively low, only 7,600 feet, so we have no snow in this area. In 1871, this area was still totally unmapped. It was the unknown area. So John Wesley Powell, the explorer of the Grand Canyon, came to this area, and as he looked around in this area, he stood up on this brilliantly pink and white mountain and surveyed the area. It took him four years to look through it all. We now come to the grand staircase of the Escalante National Monument. As you can see, it looks like walking up a staircase. We'll be at Bryce Canyon tomorrow, Zion Canyon the next day, and Vermilion Cliffs the next day, and we've already been at the Grand Canyon. We'll be following Highway 12 just along the side of it and looking over into it occasionally. Let's get started. We now get our first good look over the grand staircase of the Escalante and all its many colors and cliffs. That road down there was built by the Civilian Conservation Corps after 1935 and cost over a million dollars. That was a lot of money during the Depression. Let's head down that road and see the beautiful sights in the grand staircase of the Escalante.
And now as we climb up the mountains, it starts to snow again. It'll get heavier and heavier as we get near the top of the pass. This pass is about 2,000 feet higher and therefore has a lot of snow on it and it's accumulating on the road. Will we be able to make it over this pass also? But as we head down the other side, it starts to clear out, so. We have finally made it to Capitol Reef, but it's going to be raining the whole time we are here. Capitol Reef is a part of a large complex of national parks and recreation areas in this area, and we've seen many of them. We've seen Hoover Dam and Lake Mead. We've seen the Grand Canyon National Park, Glen Canyon National Recreation Area, Canyonlands National Park, and Arches National. Earlier we've been to Mesa Verde, and we've also been to Petrified National Park. We went to the Monument Valley. Tomorrow we'll go to Bryce Canyon and Zion Canyon the next day and Vermilion Cliffs in the next few days. Today we've been through Red Canyon State Park, gone through the Grand Staircase of the Escalante, and now we're over at Capitol Reef. Capitol Reef is a narrow park along a valley and it has one road going through it that we will travel through and look at some. It's along the water pocket, the gray area you see here, where they get a lot of water and rain and are able to farm. And normally it would look something like this if we were here on a clearer day. It can be beautiful with all of its colors. But we're here on a rainy, snowy day, so we'll follow the road as much as we can, first stopping at the visitor center and then looking around Fruita. At a visitor center, we see the water park at this valley that we'll be traveling across. This was a fruit area, that's why it got to be known as Fruita, and was a settlement of the Mormons around 1900. The fruit orchards still produce fruit these days, and you can pick them during season for a price. And this was called mail tree because they'd hang mail here for the mailmen to pick up, and they'd leave the mail here also. And now we come to one of those pioneer homes that was built in 1908 and lived in until 1969. The Gifford Farm House and its barn and surrounding ranch. It's a beautiful setting and nice weather. We're going to drive around and look a little bit and then head back out of the park. We're not really sure what this formation was. It looks like a road that the pavement has fallen apart on, but it's not really. It's just blocks of rocks, as you can see, that have broken off here.
And now it's time to head back out of the park and head back over the passes and through the grand staircase of the Escalante. We'll be spending the night in Pankwich. There seems to be a little bit more accumulation on the road than when we first came, so it's probably good that we decided to head back early. But soon we're back out of the rain and snow and headed down toward the grand staircase of the Escalante for another look.
We've now left the grand staircase of the Escalante behind and are headed back toward Red Canyon State Park in the Dixie National Forest. As we get into the Dixie National Forest and the Red Canyon Vista area, we see the snow has started again and it's still beautiful here. This is where Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid hit out during their time. Soon we arrive at the Quality Inn in Panquich for the night. It's kind of like a western town and is used for retreats and other things. We unpack, eat a little bit, take in the view across the street, and then head to bed for the end of the day 21.